Can we get into the skin though? What is this on my Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Imani. I am a beauty, fashion, and lifestyle YouTuber. Today I will be sharing with you all about what it's really, really like to be working while you're in graduate school, especially online graduate school in speech pathology. Like all of my other videos, this is 100% from my own experience, so this is not for everyone across the board, and I cannot apply this to even everyone that I know in the program. This is really just specific to me and my own experiences. So if you guys wanna know all about working while you're in online graduate school, then continue to watch this video. Okay, so you guys know that a lot of times I like to do my makeup while I talk to you guys about whatever topic we're talking about. But today, I'm going to be doing my skincare while I'm talking to you. So Duval is a great brand who decided to send me one of their most used and really most liked products. It is the Radiant Spin Care System and I cannot wait to try it out today. So. I'm excited. It's so funny that when they reached out to me, my sister had already purchased it and she was like, this is the best, you have to get it. I never did, but now I have it. So now I'm gonna be putting it on and letting you guys know the real tea. Um, if you're interested too, I do have a coupon code where you can earn 70% off of this Radiance Spin Care system. So, let's see how it works. It looks like it has First, the spin piece, and this is where you attach the brush head so that you can clean your face. And then it has four separate attachments. It does say reveal the hidden glow of your skin with the Radiant Spin Care System. Deeply cleanse your skin with the system. It's rotating movement to achieve the clean to achieve cleaner and more vibrant skin all over your whole body. Oh, so you can use this wherever, it's not just for your face. So I'm guessing this one is more of like the body one. I'm gonna go with the small brush. It's also really soft, so I feel like it'll be good to start off with. So it looks like you attach super easily right here. It pushes in. This is the Purity Face Wash from my favorite philosophy. And I buy like this big thing and it usually um, lasts me for a few months. So I get this from Sephora. So I'm gonna put this on and start to clean my face. Press this on button. Ooh, really is spinning. If you guys can see it, like do you see it actually spinning? Brush feels really good. I wish it had like a teeny weeny meany bit more power. If it had more power, I would love it because it already is so cool and it feels so like deep cleansing when you use it. If it had like this much more power, it'd be really, really, really good. So before we go on, I wanna thank Duval. I'm gonna move into the rest of my skincare now and get into the content. Got a little bit more of this Clinique exfoliator. I like this, I do kinda of use it like twice a day. Working in graduate school, let's get to it because I know you guys wanna know. I get this question asked so much and it's so valid because <clears throat> A lot of people think, okay, if I'm going to be in a grad school program and it's online, the perk is that I have time to get a job. And I'm going to say for the most part off the bat, that is correct. But the part that I am and I like to be super specific about is that this doesn't last forever because in programs like SLP and I think like social work and occupational therapy and other programs, any program really that has a clinical requirement to it, you're gonna have to actually be in a clinic at some point in your grad school career. I'm picking up my Yes 2 Cucumber and I've been using this eye cream almost every single day, so I'm gonna put that on my eyes right now. If your program has a clinical component to it, there is a portion in the program where you have to actually work. You're not getting paid, but you do work and 
with that in mind, you're not going to have time to actually go to work because you're working already. I started clinicals in January of this year and prior to that, I was working full time for about two years. Um, once my clinical started, that wasn't happening sis. I previously was a teacher, so everyone in a school knows that you start to prepare for the year like a year ahead. So um, I didn't want to be like shady or like weird about it. I wanted to let my school know what was going on. So I told them early on like, listen, I'm starting this clinical experience. I'm going to have to actually be at the place that I'm working at. So what can we do as far as um, a schedule that I can work here and do my clinicals? And this is the type of conversation that I think is so important because you just never know. Like your job may be really open to making that work for you and they may not. You will never know if you don't ask. Um, and especially if you have a, a career or a job already that you can use your SLP master's degree in, like a school, or maybe you're a speech pathology assistant, um, or maybe you already work in a hospital, or you already work in the nursing home that you know you want to work in as an SLP, then definitely like, hey, listen, I need to get this degree to work for you guys, to be better for you, to get the qualifications that I need to work here, and that's my plan, so what can we do to make sure that that happens? And any job and any supervisor would love to hear that, <clears throat> especially if you're doing a great job at what you do. I'm picking up my Yes To Moisturizer. I'm going to put this on my face. I love the cooling feeling of this, so I'm probably going to be doing this for hours. I want you guys to know that I actually use what I talk about. I would not put something on my channel if I'm not going to use it. I feel like that is shady. So I'm actually using this Yes2 and if you've seen my Instagram, Yes2 sent this to me and I really do like it. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do that. Thank you very much. Anyway, so yeah, so that's how I got the schedule where I came in for reading room. I taught reading for about two years, two years, two hours a day. And straight from that, I went straight to my clinicals at a different school and did therapy sessions until the end of their day. And then I went home. It was a little, you know, cray cray, but I made it work for a few months. After that, it did get to a point where I needed to cut even that and I needed to just work off of just clinicals and I currently don't have a job. Okay, so I zoomed in a little bit. Um, and now I'm gonna go in with my sunscreen. This has been so important. I am currently using the Neutrogena Clear Face Sunscreen. It's a SPS, SPF 55, and I have no issues so far. If you guys have sunscreen recommendations, please let me know what they are. I need to retrack my story because I forgot about the part where I was working full-time. First, I worked like part-time, and I worked at a, um, speech office this was really cool because i got to see what a private practice was like and i'm at a private practice now so it's really cool that it's full circle it makes sense now anyways i worked there part-time and did my coursework um but at the time i was like i can handle more and then i went back to work full-time but what i did do was instead of being a classroom teacher i um came into my school being a intervention teacher and what that meant was I was teaching small groups in little blocks of time throughout the day. This is the sunscreen, by the way. So um, it was good in that it gave me, it relieved me of the responsibilities of like the parent, like all of the parent communication, all of the organization and materials and the management that comes with having an actual classroom I didn't have that so that was great because that takes a lot more time than you would think as a teacher and um, I didn't have the extra time so I was able to spend all my time preparing for my groups that's like another little tip that I have for you if you go and do, you do decide to be full-time in your job for a portion of your studies 
make sure it's something that has a little flexibility. Make sure that you're going in and not only communicating with your supervisors and your principal or whatever it is, but also like making sure that you're in a role that you can handle because if you can't handle the role and the responsibilities going in, it just might get too out of control, too crazy. And who wants to like, not do your job. Definitely look at the roles and responsibilities. Look at what you're going to be doing. Compare. Compare different positions. Make sure you're making a good fit for you, especially if you don't know what's coming um, in your coursework. So it's just my little piece of advice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that was backtracking. Now we're gonna go fast forward. Right now, I am at a point in my career where I cannot work anymore. So I am finishing my program, graduating in December. Woo, 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 woo. So excited. So because of that, I'm in really the last few clinicals that I'll ever have. Um, and they require like all day, I'm there all day long, so there's no time to work. My um, grad program did let me know that this would happen. They actually advised that you don't work throughout the entire program. And I think that this is another great tip. Don't listen to your grad program when it comes to what you can do. And <clears throat> I'm not telling you guys to not listen to the advice that your grad program is giving you, but they're basing it off of other people and you are not other people. You may be able to handle three classes and working. You may be able to handle classes and working in a clinical because I did and I was told that it was impossible from the beginning and it wasn't. Yeah, it, it just wasn't. And honestly, if I didn't work throughout the course of everything, I would not have the experience that I have now. I would not have made the friendships and made the connections that I have now. And I wouldn't have had the money or the funds to be able to do what I'm doing now, which is not have a job. You know, because I had a job, I'm, I was able to save money for the moments that I couldn't work. Everyone I talked to, everyone I called was like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Um, and I was like, let me just try. And although it was a crazy decision, would I do it again? I don't know. I don't know if I would do it again. I cannot sit here and tell you guys that I would, but I can say that I did it and it's possible. If you absolutely need to work, make it work for you. We all don't have the opportunity to just sit on our butts and coast through graduate school. Not everyone does. Now, you may be able to, and that's great, but me personally, that wasn't happening. So I made it work um, the best way that I knew how at the time. So guys, I wanna thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you to Duval for sending me over their spin care system. I really love the results. I feel refreshed, renewed. All of the information for how you can get the spin care brush system will be in the description box. I even have that 70% off coupon code just for you, so please check it out. If you guys have any questions about what I talked about, about working, it is very intricate and it depends on the person and I know you're gonna have tons of questions, so just ask them, please. I'm an open book. Ask them in the comments, or you can always hit me up on Instagram, DM me, and ask them there. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.